Hey, what's up guys, Nils here and welcome back to another video. So about two hours ago, Dire went out ahead on Discord today and announced that we are actually going to be having all six events at once this time around for the anniversary. Now, if you guys watched the videos that I posted yesterday, I actually talked about it where I had a very, very big hunch that he was actually going to do that and turns out that he actually did that. Now, let's talk a little bit about all six events and how you should approach them, etc, etc. First of all, I am not the biggest fan of this type of event. I would have preferred, honestly, to see something like a 8x or 10x of an event. I think that would be better. And let me explain why. Now, while having all of those events active at the same time is super, super cool and it definitely looks cool, like the events sort of devaluate one another and here's the thing right so if i'm just sitting afk opening stars i'm utilizing the time event the luck event and the xp event at the same time i'm not really making any use or close to any use besides maybe attacking the mini boss from the damage in the yen event and i am not making any use out of the drops event either so while the event does seem good and people have like gone really 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 excited about it you guys start to see that the, there is like the value is slightly diminished. Now, the next question that probably everybody wants to ask is, what should I do? I already got a lot of DMs ever since uh, people started uh, reading about that. And that is, what should I do? Should I approach this as a damage event or should I approach this as a open stars event? So the answer is what you want to be doing is you want to be straight ahead going into opening stars. We are going to have a new level cap Plus, we have a new Divine unit coming out with the Anniversary and question mark, maybe more than one Divine? Like last Christmas we had two Divines, we had an exclusive Divine only for Christmas, so we could potentially see this thing happening yet again here with the Anniversary, maybe we have an Anniversary special Divine units. So I would 100% say go ahead and open, also incubate your units, get the levels and depending on the level cap and depending on uh, the amount of your time multiplier, etc. Maybe what you can do is well, a couple of hours that are in Monday before the event gets uh, shut down, considering your units will have been a uh, very, very high levels. You can farm some ultimate time trials or you can do some defense modes because 5x drops, guys, pretty big, not gonna lie. 5x drops is pretty damn big. So maybe that is something to consider as well, but Anyway, Saturday, Sunday, you just turbo open stars. I will make a video, which I will post in the late, like uh, the usual, like late upload time, which should be about three hours from now, when you are watching this video, with uh, projected costs for this event to max open stars. This will be for people with max open game pass and without, so we're kind of trying to cover everyone up. So make sure you watch that later as well know what uh, you're gonna be needing to prepare but as i said make sure you do your defense modes now and you are gonna be stocked up for the weekend because it's gonna be a pretty big event and especially if we have anniversary divines that will be more so of a reason to try and go for them now one last thing that i want to talk about is despite all of that we still have a weekend event vote which Dara posted yesterday now I don't know why he posted that, maybe that was his initial plan and he changed up his mind and he just decided to say whatever, we're just gonna do every event or maybe guys, maybe, because that still is still up and it's not been deleted, yeah? Maybe there is a chance that on Sunday, because Sunday is the actual anniversary date of the game, maybe we could potentially see a plus five, extra plus five lag in time, who knows? And I'm saying lack in time because they are clearly in the lead, as you can see here in this chart. It's not even a debate. And honestly, it's probably the best pick to go for for those two events. So who knows? Maybe Dire decides to just uh, go all out on a Sunday because it's the actual anniversary. Now, I saw a lot of comments on yesterday's video where people have talked about uh, gifts and stuff like that. Maybe we could also see that as well on Sunday. As I said, one year anniversary, so that particular day might have all of that stuff. I don't know, a lot of exciting stuff, I guess. So we're just going to have to stay tuned and find out what's going to happen. But yeah, anyway, guys, that was pretty much it for this video. I don't think we have uh, anything else to talk about. 
as I said, catch the video later where I will tell you what exactly you need to have for the event. It's not gonna be that much, but it's gonna take you a little bit of grind, especially for those max open tokens. Like you're gonna need a whole bunch of them. So make sure you stick around for that as well. But anyway, guys, as always, if you enjoyed, make sure to click the like and subscribe button down below. And I will see you guys all on the next one. Take care.